Indonesia based materials and its applications. And I'm from the Strong University, China. First of all, I will give a brief introduction to my lab. Uh, our lab is a very good. So uh, we have three main research areas. The so F means the five retardant materials, and the B means the bio based and the biodegradable polymers, and the R uh, represents the polymer recycling. Put the three letters together and add uh, our lab name, National Engineering Library for Ankle Friendly Polymeric Materials, and it's our lab batch. And because of the time limitation, I will just present my research area, bio-based polymers. Uh, during the uh, past years, uh, my interest mainly focused on the natural polymers, including polysaccharides and proteins. And today, I will just share our recent research progress on cellulose materials. There are four uh, contents uh, in my lecture. And firstly, the background. Um, as reported for, uh, by a UK newspaper, The Guardian, uh, plastic bags, unfortunately, win the title of the worst inversion of the 20th century because of its extremely serious pollution on our environment and the low decomposition uh, and the poor degradability, even exposure to light, heat, material inside, and even buried in Earth for a long time and also the energy conception. So cellulose is the most abundant, abundant biopolymers on Earth, which can be found in plants, bacteria, and agriculture waste. And after different processing treatments, different kinds of cellulose materials can be obtained, including micro-sized and nano-sized cellulose. These materials generally have high comprehensive properties, biodegradabilities and biocompatibilities. So cellulose is regarded one of the most important, important materials to replace non-degradable petroleum-based materials. So based on the data from Web of Logology, uh, during the past decade, the published items with a topic called cellulose have reached over 200,000. If we use uh, cellulose functional material as a topic, the number of published items in last year is about 2,000. And we can see, see from the figure, the published items increase gradually with a year. So we know the cellulose functional materials has increased has attracted increasing tensions. Uh, till now, the applications of cellulose-based materials have been extended to different areas, including antibacterial materials, packaging, catalysis, energy devices, and so on. On the other hand, uh, nature provides us many inspirations by mimicking the natural chemistry and structures. Some amazing functions and properties can be obtained. So we consider to combine the bio inspiration and the sustainability together, fabricating more new functional cellulose materials. Uh, first of all, the water shortage, according to the United Nations Water Web Water Development Report. At present, about 4 billion people are facing serious physical water scarcity for at least one month per year, and the situation became worse. And by 2050, the situation will be over. Half of uh, people will live in the water stress regions. To address the issue, there are some technologies regarding the water treatments, including the compression cooling, reverses osmosis, and the solar energy-driven steam generation. 
Compare with that, at the atmospheric wood harvesting technology of some creatures have attracted our attention. Here now, bio-inspired uh, materials like cactus spin spider have been widely investigated. As we know, the collection process includes four steps for capture, chocolate collapses, water transportation, and water collection. The desert beetle is able to live very dry environments. Let's see its back. It's very interesting. Uh, it has a rough structure on its back. That is the rings, the points are uh, superfetidic that can capture water from air. With uh, the collection process, the, the uh, value of the job will increase and the job will finally contact with the concave domain of its back and the rolling off to its mouth for maintaining its life. So inspired by this interesting phenomenon, we use two nanoparticles, silver nanoparticle and the titanium dioxide nanoparticle to coat on cellulose films. Moreover, um, we will see the uh, silver nanoparticles will selectively react with the zero group. So we can graft low surface agent and selectively on such surface. So after the modification, the titanium domain still acts as superhydrophilic area to catch fog. And the modified silver domain acts the superhydrophobic area for the job lowering. So the pattern, the, the hybrid surface can be used for what harvesting. To confirm the successful selective reaction of the silver domain, the thermal group containing agent was used to react with the titanium coated and the silver coated surfaces, respectively. And we find that after the modification, the, safe, the surface roughness became nearly the same. That is favorable to the super uh, wettability. And uh, for the uh, titanium domain, we will see after the modification, the surface uh, super felicity uh, remain nearly the same, uh, indicating the reaction has not occurred. But for the titanium domain, the surface wettability uh, uh, can uh, turn from uh, hydrophobic to super hydrophobic with the increased water compact angle. So the selective reaction occurs for this system. Water contact angle depends on the weight, uh, weight ratio of the two domains. So we can see from the figure with the increased uh, area of the silver domain, the gradually increased water contact angle is detected. However, because we should uh, make sure the balance of the superhydrophobic domain and the superhydrophobic domains, so the relatively high water collection efficiency uh, is obtained at the weight ratio of 10 to 1. And here the maximum collection e efficiency is 1,000 milligram per, square, per, per area per hour. Moreover, due to the presence of silver nonparticles, as we know, silver nonparticles has good antibacterial properties, so the surface has shown high antibacterial performance. That is important for water safety. Although the relatively high water collection behavior, as we know, the superhydrophobic surface is not always superhydrophobic because uh, especially in high humid, humid uh, environment, a superhydrophobic surface generally show weak moisture resistance due to the moisture invention into such rough structure and makes the surface become became superhydrophilic again. So developing new surface and interfaces 
with long-term water harvesting in humid environments in small environments. So the next is the slippery. Okay. Um, during the past years, the future plant inspired materials may be a better choice for water harvesting because it has excellent drop heat removal and uh, sweeping capacities. This behavior is beneficial to dropwise condensation because during the past years, so the slippery and the surface has gained a particular interest. However, for such surface, lubricant is generally used to fabricate a slippery surface, but the lubricant linkage is hard to avoid. This may cause serious concern with water safety because the collected water contains oils. So, in this work, we consider develop a hierarchical micro and a nano structured surface by constructing regular micro percussion and the nanoparticles together on the fuel surface. At the first day, uh, we use the reported breath figure method to prepare a micro pores, cellulose fumes. And after peeling off the top layer, we obtain the pin cushion surface, that is PC surface. And then after the superhydrophobic modification, a uh, superhydrophobic surface obtained, that is SHS. After that, we will add the lubricant into such structure and we can obtain the slippery surface. But this surface is with, uh, with uh, micro and nanostructure, so we call it the MS slips. The corresponding surface availability is then determined, as, we, uh, as can be seen from the figure for the superhydrophobic surface. It's what contact angle and sliding angles is detected at uh, uh, 1050 and 5 degrees, respectively. Well, after the infusion, the lubricant, uh, the slip of as prepared, the slippery surface uh, presents its sliding angle at about only three degrees. Regarding the storage, uh, that is important for the vacation. 1,000 droplets were drifted on the surfaces, respectively, and we find that the, uh, the slippery surface with only microstructure uh, after the treatment, its sliding angles increases 24 degrees, means that uh, there are some lubricant loss during the process. However, if the presence, if the addition of the nanostructure in the surface, the sliding angle can be maintained at about 11 degrees, that is relatively high, relatively low compared with uh, that of the counterparts. As a result, the micro nano structured slip surface has a relatively high water collection performance. From the video, we can see that the super hydrophilic surface showed the drop wise water coalescence initially, but after 60 and especially 120 minutes, a, a, a water film is uh, obviously observed on the surface that is not variable. Compared with that, the CPU surface uh, always maintains uh, drop wise coalescence for a long time. Uh, after that, we uh, mirror the lubricant linkage and we find the TOC value of the collected water by the MNS slips is greatly lower than that of other surfaces. That's why the surface has stable, slippery performance. When we further think about the four steps, we believe there are some points we can uh, still improve. If we can consider these four steps together, maybe the water collection performance can be further improved. Regarding the design, we design a multi-biomimic surface for uh, fork harvesting, uh, including the desert beetle inspired hydrophilic domain to improve fork capture and the future inspired slippery domain to promote micro drop coalescence and the cupcake captors inspired wedge-like 
uh, arrive to improve the water transportation and the special uh, plant inspired leads to the stem root pollen to improve the uh, to reduce the collection barrier. So regarding the four steps, and firstly for the fall capture, we find the uh, a link print method was used to, uh, with the common links to depict the superhydrophilic patterns from the superhydrophobic patterns. And after that, we infuse the lubricant to, to prepare a pattern surface. Uh, the full process was determined uh, in detail. Uh, at first, uh, the fork capture, we find the slippery hydrophilic pattern surface are relatively high water capture performance uh, as compared to the neat, slippery, and also the hydrophilic and uh, hydrophobic, that is veto inspired surface. Uh, for coalescence, the presence of the lubricant contributes to forming mixes and uh, capillary force, and this can cause directional, directional movement and coalescence of water drops. And also for the uh, water transportation, we design three kinds of hydrophilic patterns, uh, including bot-like, line-like, and wedge-like. And finally, we find the wedge pattern a relatively high water transportation rate because of the presence of Laplace pressure. And we can see from the figure, only within the, uh, 30 microsecond, uh, the drop, a single drop can be transported uh, uh, within the same distance. Moreover, for the fourth collection barrier, uh, uh, we designed a different density of the, of, uh, of the patterns. Uh, we can see too low density is not favorable to the fault capture or the high collection efficiency. Why too high density is also not favorable because it will form a, a water film at the bottom of the, of the surface. This is not, also not favorable for the water transportation. So the water, uh, the, the collection barrier can be reduced at a fixed uh, density of the pattern. Based on the uh, design, we can uh, we also uh, con constructed a new pattern named Nix. Uh, water can be transported from the tips to root and then further to the stem root. Uh, this behavior can be seen on the video. And finally, uh, the water collection efficiency here can be achieved to be over 2,000 um, milligram per, per area per hour. That is relatively high compared with uh, relevant works. The, uh, the third part, um, the photonic fields. As we know, uh, structure color, also known as physical color, is a color produced by a physical structure with light uh, without any pigment. Uh, for example, um, Camino can change its structure color when exposure to experimental stimuli or facing dangers. The formation of structure color can obey the graphic equation. So if the microstructure of the Camino skin changes, its color will change accordingly. As we know, cellulose nice crystal can be prepared by acid hydrolysis of cellulose. It can self assembly into helical structures uh, while controlling the hydrogen bonding and electrostatic repulsion. And uh, with the evaporation of water, redensing structure color can be obtained. And we also can prepare redensing structure color fields. However, due to the high stiffness, because of high stiffness of the uh, uh, nanocrystal, it's generally different, if it's difficult to obtain freestanding CNC films without any agents or modification. So in his work, glycerol gen is a generally used uh, plasticizer for natural polymers. 
is employed here to incorporate in the CNC rings. We obtain a highly flexible iridescent and multi stimuli responsive films. We can see the structure color of such film can be adjusted from blue to red by controlling the amount of glycerol. And especially uh, at different communities, the structure color of such film can change accordingly. And the, chart, uh, the color change was uh, uh, reversible at a relatively high um, humidity or low humidities. So it can, it can sense the water, uh, water content in the air. Uh, besides the water, the film can also sense the compression force. Uh, a higher compression, a compression force can introduce a more obvious color change, blue shift color change. However, regarding the film, uh, the stretching flexibility is still limited because we didn't, we just add a small molecule in the, in the, in the structure. It cannot be stretched as a communal scheme. So in the next work, we incorporate a network structure in a CNC structure. And we find that the structure color can be also tuned by controlling the amount of the, the network. More importantly, uh, from the figure C, we can see the fracture strain can be, can be increased to about 20%. That is relatively high compared with relevant works. To understand the reason, this microstructure is determined, determined by SEM. From the field, we can see a bicontinuous phase is formed, and this is a good po good uh, point to uh, to imply that the two the network and uh, the CNC have good compatibility. From the first investigations, we find a stretching process uh, include three stage: train extension, fracture and then the morphological commutation. And then we further control the precipitating time. We, we can increase the flux stream to further to 40%. This is, is uh, quite high in present work. And we are seen from the uh, figure, upon stretching, the color changes can, and can be seen from uh, red to green, like Camino. Uh, this color change can be seen to naked eyes. Uh, however, in this work, we will see the color change range is still limited, just from red to green. So in our future work, we will continue to tune the uh, network structure, uh, realizing, try to realizing a uh, wider color range. Okay, a summary. Uh, inspired by the beetle, uh, hydrophobic, hydrophobic and hydrophobic hybrid surface is prepared for water collection. And uh, uh, inspired by the picture, a stable, slippery surface is constructed for the long term application for the harvest. And uh, inspired by the mountain creature, a slippery and hydrophilic pattern surface is. Uh, fabricate and the force collection steps are uh, optimized. And for the structure color application, a flexible and uh, iridescent and uh, response CNC film uh, can be easily constructed, uh, and which can uh, sense the environmental community and the compression. compression. And at last, the uh, inspired the Camino scheme, a uh, network structure is introduced in CNC, fabricating a flexible film with a fracture stream of up to 97, uh, 39, and uh, uh, function, the, the strange induced structure color change that is visible to naked eyes. And uh, finally, the college, I will thank Professor Yu Zhong Wang and uh, Xiu Yi Wang. And these works are performed by the five uh, students. Uh, last, the uh, funding and support from uh, uh, 
uh, foundation and the government. That's all. Thank you.